my channel be metaholic now today i have come um, come with one more video which is focusing upon the basic preparation tips of board and home examination of course but basically these this video is meant for class 10th and 12th board appearing students so what all things i'm whatever things i'm going to tell you you must be listening to it carefully and if you are going to follow this definitely will come up with flying colors so let's begin what all things i have for you so here at first you all must be knowing and you must have gone through different sample papers of whatever subjects you have opted but right now i am going to talk about the changed pattern in mathematics and for 12 students it is my advice to follow and go through all the subjects whatever you have opted for and go through all the sample papers that you have opted here so right now let's talk about mathematics because this year the pattern has entirely changed so let's go through it now as you all know the time allowed will be 3 hours this is the writing time and of course the maximum marks would be 80 general instructions i would be reading it because you must have gone across but let us revise it once again so this question paper contains two parts in mathematics we'll have two parts each part is compulsory and both the parts are carrying 24 and 56 marks then part a has objective type questions now this year they have entirely changed the pattern and in here this would be objective plus descriptive but here you will find out that in part a you will find some case study based questions and of course the very short answer type question has been introduced it's not entirely the objective type all right so let's see what variety we have in part a and part b you can see over here part a consists of two sections now this comprises of 16 very short answer type now please do take care of this thing very short answer type means you have to write the answer you have to define the in what way you have found the answer so because the split marking is there you can see the marking scheme also along with the question paper it has been released by board so if you are downloading the marking scheme and go through the pattern of uh, how the marks distributions are you will surely will come to know that even though if it is of one mark and if the half of the answer is correct you will be awarded half marks for that so definitely very short answer means uh, you have to explain the solution also then we have two case study based questions for class 12th in the in this you will have five mcqs in which four you have to any four you have to do then as usual you have descriptive type pattern questions which includes two three and five marks questions okay and in all there will be 36 questions for you so in this you have internal choices as usual the internal choices have been given to you so please everyone it is my sincere advice that you all must go through the um, general instructions and whatever questions are there the paper should be comprises of 36 questions so you have to go through all the instructions given at first in the question paper all right now next would be i would talk about class 10 mathematics again i say there will be two parts a and b and both parts have internal choices then we have the splitting of the sections here part a comprises of two sections section 1 consists of 16 questions with internal choices provided in 5 and section 2 has four case study based questions for class 10 they have included four case study based questions again the same thing is there there are five sub parts out of which you have to attempt only four right then we come to part b which is slightly of higher marks that is 2 3 and 5 now please make a note that for class 10th and 12th the pattern is same there will be 36 questions in all and 1 2 3 5 are the marks which will be awarded for each again you will have internal choice in two questions of two marks two questions of three marks and one question of five marks now that was about the one sample paper i have taken for mathematics now it is a request that uh, whatever subject you have opted please download the sample paper and marking scheme and go through the questions and the pattern of the question paper this is very very important now i the main thing about this video is telling you about some basic guidelines which every one of you must note down okay so first and the foremost would be now soon you will be approaching to your board uh, uh, board exams you will be getting the schedule cbse is going to release the date sheet for the board exam but before that your school must have been taken the pre board exams and this is the month in which you might be facing your pre board exams or next month you will be 
facing your pre-board exam. So if you are going to follow this pattern, definitely you will have a good practice of whatever you have to attempt the exam. So the first and the foremost thing what you have to remember is laminate your admit card. Whatever admit card, please remember you are going to get the admit card from the you, from your own school. The first thing what you are going to do is laminate it, okay? So that because it is a it is a very important document, and in case please remember if you uh, apply after 12th for your I mean for uh, ex for schools or colleges outside our country, then also this admit card is very much required. So please do laminate it and keep it safely, every one of you. Second would be locate and visit your examination center before your board examination to avoid last minute rush. Now this is very important children. This is a sincere advice from my side that once you get your examination center uh, as to which school you are supposed to go and give the exam, please visit it prior or ask your parents to go and find it where the location is because it might be, uh, uh, although it is around your vicinity only, but please ensure where the school is located and timely you can reach to the examination center, okay? Third important point is reach the center at least 15 minutes before on the day your exam is scheduled. Please remember you have for every paper at least 10 to 15 minutes prior you should reach it because now it's, it has been very strict. You will not be allowed after the scheduled time. So reach the examination center 15 minutes prior your exam timings. Next point is prepare a checklist of all the necessary things to carry at the examination hall and do not forget to carry them. This is very important. Please remember what all things are required. The guidelines will soon come to you. But yes, make a checklist of what all things are required for the examination hall. Last minute rush should not be there. We don't have pen. Please keep the supplement material with you. Extra pens should be there. And whatever the hall card, admit card, it should be there. So keep a thing separately and carry it every day. Okay. Next is once you reach your examination hall, meditate at least for two to three minutes once you are settled down. So once you are reaching to your room for giving the exam, then two to three minutes of meditation is very must because you this will increase your concentration and then you will be able to focus upon your question paper very easily. I hope these uh, small little things will help you out. In, um, and do not be afraid of the exam. Take it lightly, remain cool, and meditation will help you out, right? Now, these were some basic guidelines. Now, I'm going to tell you about some general guidelines as to what you have supposed to prepare it. So, these are the strategies to attempt a board or even if it is applied for home question paper or guidelines also, okay? So, these are some of the things. So, first and the foremost is, once you uh, enter your examination hall, the question paper will be distributed to you. You will get first 15 minutes of reading time. Now, every one of you must be knowing about it. For 10th appearing student, this is your first board exam. But for the 12th class students, you are already aware of the thing that first 15 minutes are very crucial. So now what I'm going to do, uh, tell you is something you must focus upon. And that is how to utilize first 15 minutes of reading time very effectively. Spend first 7 to 8 minutes in reading the question paper thoroughly. Every one of you is advised to read the question paper. If you are reading it within 6 minutes or within before 10 minutes, well and good. But read it thoroughly. Then make a strategy. Take the questions to be attempted from internal choices to avoid last minute confusion. Now please, sometimes what happens children? That internal choice ke jo bhi questions aate hain, option mein ye kariye or this one you have to do. Sometimes what happens is that you know both the solutions. But you get confused when you are to attempt it. To usme kuch minutes hamare waste ho jate hain. So even though you are knowing both the solutions or anyone, please ensure at the beginning of the first 15 minutes, take those questions which you think you are confidently you can do it. So internal choices questions ko aapko pehle hi tick laga lena hai. Isse aapka confidence badega aur aapko Last moment, you will not be able to, I mean, you don't have to waste your time deciding that which one I have to do. This is very important. Then, now this time, case study based questions have been introduced. So, please see to it that you will, it's just a paragraph sort of question will be there. So, case study based questions, read it and understand the typology of the question. It's very important. During the first 15 minutes, as I said, read the case study based questions thoroughly. And so far as possible, understand the question so that 
the multiple choice questions based on the case study based questions you will be able to attempt it quickly and you will not and you will get sufficient time for other uh, higher number marks questions right so these are the three points which are very very important so these are utilization of first 15 minutes which most of the students do not know and they just simply sit and waste their time during the first 15 minutes so this is a sincere advice every one of you should utilize and follow these instructions so it will be very very helpful then if possible attempt the section containing highest marks followed by sections containing more number of questions and so on this will reduce the possibility of unattempted questions sometimes what happens children that you start from section a which comprises of one mark and then you go to last section which comprises of higher marks so again this is just an advice otherwise aapko jo karna hai aap kar le aapko jo theek lage but the thing is agar 6 marks 5 marks ka 4 marks ka highest number of questions hai kisi bhi subject mein to us section ko agar aap pehle attempt karte hain so there is very less possibility that any question will be left बिकॉज लास्ट मोमेंट पे अगर आप करते हैं तो हो सकता है टाइम आपको कम पड़े और यू माइट स्किप सम क्वेश्चन सो डोंट डू दिस हायर मार्क्स क्वेश्चन सेक्शन शुड बी अटेम्प्टेड फर्स्ट फॉलोड बाय अदर सेक्शन दिस इज जस्ट एन एडवाइस ओके देन टाइम मैनेजमेंट प्लेज अ क्रूशल रोल नाउ प्लीज सी टू इट दैट टाइम मैनेजमेंट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वंस यू आर मैनेजिंग योर टाइम यू कीप द वॉच इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू कीप लुकिंग एट द वॉच एंड you should make your own thing that within this time span i am supposed to finish the question paper the answer sheet should be completely done whatever questions i am so time management iske liye aapko kya karna hai you should need the practice paper just solve sample papers as much as many as you can so that you will be effectively uh, managing your time and you will be able to finish the main question paper timely all right so keep a watch 3 3 hours you sit at home solve the square, sample question paper and then you will be able to make out then because until and unless you are running short of time while giving the main exam then all your efforts will go down in drain so that is not helpful so please remember this is very very important time management managing time all right next point would be focus on your handwriting now this is very very important please ensure that you get sufficient time and understanding and write a proper handwriting so that the evaluator jo bhi aapki copies correction hota hai wo unko koi problem na aaye correction karne mein and you will be they will be happy the other person should be happy to check your copies okay because sometimes their handwriting irritates the evaluator aapko jo bhi copy ko check karega evaluate karega usko handwriting kafi had tak impress karti hai kafi had tak irritate karti hai i am being myself one of the i go and check the copies for standard 12 i am sharing my experience so when we i even though handwriting is good we become very happy that yes how neatly the child has written the answer scripts so please focus on your handwriting this is very important then i would like to say try to finish your paper 5 minutes early again this is an important part please see that your paper finishes 5 minutes before the scheduled time अगर आपका 1:30 पर जैसे टाइमिंग्स होते हैं 1:30 इज द टाइमिंग फॉर द बोर्ड एग्जाम किसी भी बोर्ड के हैं तो आपका जो भी टाइम शेड्यूल है ट्राई टू फिनिश इट फाइव मिनट्स प्रायर सो दैट यू विल जस्ट गो थ्रू योर क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट लाइक द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट आई हैव सेड इट रिविजिट द आंसर स्क्रिप्ट थरली एंड एनश्योर दैट यू हैव अटेम्प्टेड अटेम्प्टेड ऑल द क्वेश्चन ओके सो प्लीज सी टू इट दैट यू हैव Thoroughly you have visited the question paper ताकि कोई भी question in case last moment पे छूटता है तो आप उसको कर सकते हैं and then you can do it very easily okay so this is very important so that comes under time management and this will help you out no doubt then about the some general guidelines of course that was about the question paper and the examination all how you have to go through the question paper and what all things are important while attempting the question paper now before attempting the question paper before your exams what all things you have to take care of this is something related to that so general guidelines i would say realize the importance of ncert books please see to it that even if you have so many reference books do not refer too many reference books okay just one reference book is sufficient only when you are completing your ncert textbook thoroughly so ncert textbook revising and doing is very very important Uh, when it comes to board exams 
finally then prepare a tactical plan of action be organized always organize yourself in such a manner that you are you should be very much prompt that yes nothing is left i have done everything every subject i have gone through it i have made a time schedule i have prepared myself thoroughly so that i should not be rushing for this uh, syllabus in the 11th hour and you should be preparing yourself you should be well organized with your subjects complete your syllabus at least 3 months prior to your exam schedule please remember that your exam schedules are in the most of you will have it in the month of march or april or whatever the date sheet will be there but it should be that at least 3 months prior to your exam schedule you should be completing your syllabus so that you will have ample time to revise your syllabus keep yourself away from all social media platforms avoid all sorts of distraction as you know this time there are lot of things which are going on in on social media and most of the students are busy and the electronic gadgets are in your hand this year entirely everybody is reliable and dependent on electronic gadgets so this is again my sincere advice please keep do away from all these things and do not um, follow these and you can do it afterwards when your exams are over but first whatever your goals are you have to achieve those goals so please keep away from all those things then social max then solve maximum previous years papers with time management to develop self confidence this will definitely enhance your uh, confidence and you will be confident enough if you are going to solve it uh, keeping the time management properly if you are going to solve the previous years paper even though the pattern has changed this year the questions might not be uh, questions will be same there only the pattern has changed so it's it will be very much beneficial if you solve the previous years papers this will help you out then self analyzation plays an important role find out your gray areas weak points and try to overcome that this will boost your morale and develop self confidence now self confidence is very very important children so just think about it that yes i can do it yes i can do it and definitely you are going to do it very uh, nicely in the board exam so uh, boosting your morale your own you only can do it and do not waste your time listening to your uh, other people and do not uh, just be confident take it e always easy and then you can definitely give your exams and board exams very nicely so develop a self confidence by self analyzation just find out whatever your weak points are and try to overcome that now you have sufficient time to analyze yourself and this will uh, definitely help you again i repeat the same thing when of course this is more more, more important so i hope you have understood these small little points i'm not going to explain it in details because you are mature enough to understand so many things but these were the important points which i wanted to highlight to you and if you follow these guidelines and if you follow this definitely you will be doing it nicely in your board exams and definitely you are going to achieve and reach to your target your goal so at the end i would say the quote of swami vivekanand which says arise awake and stop not till the goal is reached so everyone please remember that you have to follow this uh, quote and you have to go across and find out what best you can put up always success comes only to those who believe in themselves and are prepared to win so you all are prepared to win all the best from our side all the good luck for your board exams children and follow and share this video and like this video and of course i would be happy if you post your comments liking this video or not so with this i am ending this video hope to see you um, with a smiling face once you appear for your board exams all the very best thank you so much